Hey Capricorn, how's everybody doing? I hope you're having a wonderful December, month of December. This is going to be messages that you need to hear from now until December 31st. Closing out the year of 2023. Happy birthday to all of you. I hope you're rocking it with your celebration for yourself. And we are going to see what messages need to come through from now. Oh, keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. And as I'm trying to shuffle the deck, that flipped over and so did retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. From those things that are triggering you, that are stressing you out. I know it's easier said than done, but take a break. Take some time for yourself. I would say to do that all the time, but it's very hard with people and responsibilities in life. So at least from now until the end of December, during your birthday season, take some time for yourself. All right, from now until the end of December. From my Capricorns. Hus yeah, see? Retreating from those people that suck, you know, deplete your energy. Suck the life out of you. Not everybody is going to want to see amazing things happen to you. Unfortunately, there are people that live in a very negative energy and they, they consume that for the rest the, for their entire life. Separating yourself from what causes you, who causes you, what causes you stress, anxiety. Those people that appear to be in your on your side, and then you just know in your intuition, your gut instinct that it's they're not who they say they are. Disconnecting for that those types of energies. And Archangel Raphael. And look at that. Heart chakra. Healing your heart. Those of you that still need to heal but allowing your heart to be open to what you're about to receive. All right. Let's see what else. For my Capricorn spirit from now until the end of December. Transformation. You're definitely evolving. Where you felt depleted, where you felt that a disconnect from the world, maybe a person, it's, it's like you're, coming back together you're evolving to a stronger like stronger version of yourself that's why I said take some time out where you felt depleted where you feel like not in your best energy maybe even a little bit more tired possibly weak it's time for you to focus on your yourself reach out for the power and the strength to make changes enrich your life and become the person you want to be now's the best time you're embarking on a brand new year And now is the time to focus on yourself so you start this brand new year off fresh. All right, let's see what else we can get from my amazing Capricorns. Oh, my amazing Capricorn spirit. There's that transformation again. There is definitely change on the horizon for you. Evolving. There's a brand new cycle starting. And I feel with the heart chakra here, it's going to bring you such emotional happiness. Yeah, look at this. Unexpected rendezvous. Luck is on your side. There is good fortune coming your way. You could be dealing with a Leo. You may have strong um, fire energy or Leo in your chart. It says within 7 to 14 days. Something amazing is about to open up for you. I feel a breakthrough. Finding the strength. It's like finding the strength to move on. Best version of yourself and it's bringing in complete emotional happiness. All right, let's see what comes out in your reading. now until 
until the end of 2023. Closing out December. The devil. There's that toxic hostilates energy. You could be dealing with someone with an addiction. You may have some form of an addiction that you would like to overcome. You could be feeling like you're being manipulated by someone. But I feel balance. Yeah, Queen of Swords energy. It's like mind over matter. You are making mind over heart decisions. And it's like you're putting your sword up. You're only going to lower your sword and allow your heart to show for offers or situations that you feel drawn to. It's like where you felt like you were being walked on or, you know, basically someone uses you as a stepping stool. You're over that. And you are moving on to complete emotional happiness. Moving into the future, moving into like the end of 2023 into 2024, you are taking a leap of faith towards something. What's keeping you feeling stuck, Capricorn? What is this? It's like you have to take this blindfold off. And for each one of you, it's going to be different. But I do feel the growth. You see how he's climbing out of his own head, his own thoughts. This is self-inflicted. We may feel like prisoners. We may feel like we can't move on. We can't break free from the negative cycle, but you can. This is self-inflicted. This is temporary. Because you are finding that strength. And you're climbing out of your own thoughts. And that's amazing. You're letting go of the negative energy or what holds you back. Where you feel defeated, even if you had a disagreement with someone, family member, friend, maybe a loved one. Retreats are always, there's sometimes when there's no movement, there's no communication. That allows time for healing. Time to think outside of the box. Time to, you know, you know, See things from a different perspective. So t sometimes no movement is best. I got to tell you, there is an offer of love coming in. You have complete emotional happiness by the end of this month, by the end of 2023. You're feeling mentally ready. You're feeling like emotionally ready. I definitely see you evolving to the best version of yourself, overcoming any negativity, thinking about 2024 and really setting like the bar high for your happiness in 2024, putting yourself first. Loving on you and bringing in the love that you deserve because you're focusing on yourself. Yeah, there is someone coming in heat, hot and heavy for you. Ready to sweep you off your feet. Let's see. Let's get additional clarity. Feel like a light bulb going off in your mind and you coming out of like overthinking in that stalemate energy you're ready to make movement we have justice the knight of pentacles the ten of wands yeah there is a union here between you and someone's very special Things are coming to light. A path is being illuminated. You are coming into union with someone. 
I have water energy here, air energy. Specifically Libra a couple times. Also Taurus. Gemini Aquarius. Pisces Cancer Scorpio. Virgo Taurus. No. I'm sorry. Yeah. No. Yes. Virgo Taurus Capricorn. So I have all signs here. So take what resonates with your chart. But also, like I said, your heart's open to receive. You closed out a cycle of negativity, of overthinking things. And you're moving with confidence to something brand new. And it's leading you to your future. This is going long term for you. And it's emotional happiness. Spirit, why is the two of wands here twice? Let me get that card that fell on the floor. Yeah, see you're moving into the future. Three of Wands and the Sun. Of course, I see a lot of you, obviously, with the Ten of Cups here, you're focusing on family, people that are very near and dear to your heart. There might even be someone that you're in separation with in terms of home that feels like home to you and you're getting over that burden with them. I also feel Capricorn that you're going to be very popular from now until the end of the month. People wanting to hang out with you, wanting to get to know you deeper, obviously celebrate your birthday, the holidays for those of you that do that. But you're not allowing yourself to be around any negativity or toxic energy. You're moving on from what bounds you and holds you back. You're stepping out of your thoughts and you're moving forward with confidence. I do feel a soulmate union here. So if you're in separation from a soulmate, there is gonna be communication. Remember, unexpected rendezvous. Yeah, safe and secure. You are being protected. Archangel Raphael wants you to know, allow your, you know, put yourself around those people that truly get you. And you know within your gut and your instincts who those people are. Be careful of how much happiness you, within your life, that you tell to other people. Because like I said, not everybody is your best friend. Not everybody wants to hear about your happiness. But there, it's like you're soaring through the end of 2023 into 2024. Evolved. Best version of yourself. A lot of strength and self-love. And you're calling in this soulmate union. All right, Spirit, anything else? It's like Spirit wants you to know, yeah, nothing flipped over. Spirit wants you to know that you're exactly where you're meant to be. I do feel a breakthrough, but I also feel this is you walking away from the hostility. What holds you back? What lies within your thoughts? You are taking a leap of faith towards something that you have passion for. And it's a big breakthrough. A lot of emotional happiness. This is the card of extreme, like the highest level of emotional happiness. There is nothing better than the top Ten of Cups here. And it's because you're closing out a cycle. You see this moon? What no longer makes you happy? And it might be hard to disconnect from certain things, but you're doing it. You're finding that strength. You're bringing that chain back together of where you felt broken or just out of stale mate type energy. And you are moving on. There is a soulmate in your energy coming towards you. Now, this could be a platonic soulmate for some of you. Finding a friend that's going to go the distance with you. Long-term friendship. Friendship. Or this is like a love interest. You possibly could be in separation from your soulmate and coming into union. 
but definitely closing out a cycle. We have 10, 10, 10 here. Closing out a cycle and taking a leap of faith into the unknown, but it causes you a lot of happiness and something is happening within seven to 14 days. All right, let me know how this resonates. Leave that heart emoji to take part in the three free readings, love readings I'm giving away from now until the end of January. And then if you would like me to tune into just your energy, there's a few readings I'm offering right now during the holiday season. They're over at my Etsy shop and the link is in the description box. So much love and light Capricorn. Happy holidays. Happy birthday.